welcome back. So this video is part of a three video series. I had my friend Dan from Hood River Organic come and tell us about CSAs. So if you're interested in learning about community supported agriculture and what that means and what it means to you as a consumer and more importantly as an eater, click the link to this video. So explain what a CSA is. I know you said community supported agriculture, but a lot of people have never bought directly from their farm or from their farmer. And you can hear Dan talk about his farm and his CSA. So Dan brought me these beautiful vegetables and this beautiful fruit. And this week I went ahead and added extra beets to my order because I want to make beet kvass. Kvass is a fermented beverage that is made from either vegetables or bread. I've never made the traditional kvass, which uses bread fermented basically in water. You strain the bread out and then the liquid is actually what you drink. I've only had beet kvass and I love it. You can use it as a tonic. You can add a little vinegar and soda and jazz it up as a non-alcoholic -al drink loaded with probiotics, it's super good for you, and it's fantastically delicious. Kvass is just another beautiful way to preserve that summer bounty. What you're gonna need is beets, some caraway seeds, and some fresh rosemary. All we need to do is chop up our beets so that we have a lot of surface area for the juice and all of the goodness to come out. We're gonna add in a couple twigs of rosemary, the caraway seeds, and that's maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, just a few. I'm gonna go ahead and chop up some of the beet greens, like the dark red stemmy parts, and add those in as well. Actually, we'll just add the whole thing. Stuff it in your jar. And then chop up your beets. It doesn't really matter how you cut them. You just want to get maximum surface area. I don't recommend blending them because then you have all this pulp that you gotta strain out later. I think it'd just be easier to keep them in chunks. Go ahead and add your beets into your jar. Fill your jar with water and that's it. We're gonna cover it and allow air to circulate through it, but we don't want the bugs in. So we're going to let it sit on the counter for five or six days and you start tasting it because it really depends on how hot your ambient temperature is in your kitchen. Beets in the middle of summer are gonna ferment a lot faster and require way less time than winter beets. That's it, that's beet kvass. Super easy and really delicious and super good for you. So just a little FYI, if you see something funky or a little molds forming on the top, don't freak out. Your kvass is fine as long as you don't leave it too many days and let the mold kind of infiltrate the mixture. Just wipe it off and carry on. So today is bottling day for our kvass. This kvass has been on my counter for 12 days and I tasted it yesterday and it's perfect. It's ready to bottle. The flavor is very earthy. It's very beet-like. If you can imagine, it's a beet version of sauerkraut. It's salty, um, 
delicious. Probiotic, really good for you, and not a sweet drink, a very savory drink, and I love it. I was at the store the other day and there was a small bottle, probably eight ounces, and it was $9. It's highly concentrated. It's fantastic mixing into salad dressings and things where you want a little bit of a beet pop. And it can also be used as a base and kind of an umami um, additive to borscht if you like beet soup. It's fantastic. So this is what it looks like after almost two weeks. You'll notice on the top of it is kind of a, um, it's a thin whitish film. This doesn't happen for everyone. It's called calm yeast and it proliferates in my kitchen. I noticed it about um, probably four days ago. So for the first week, it wasn't there, it wasn't present and I've just been scooping it off every day. I'm going to pour this out into a large bowl, strain it, and then bottle it. And that's it. That's what you do. Store it in the refrigerator and love it. It's so delicious. Now, these beets can be used in borscht. You can use this and actually make soup out of them. This is so beautiful. The color is almost like an ultraviolet. Well, you'll see it here. It's absolutely gorgeous. What? <laughs> Happens. If you've enjoyed these videos, please hit the thumbs up. What's your way you can show support for the channel? And I appreciate it. Thanks, enjoy your day.